First worm, first fish. We ain't even set up good yet. Well. <laughs> All right. Little jewels. Worms. Because the cricket. Throw them in here or not? The cricket crosses are still. Would well, you catch a fish? Oh, you already thrown him in there? No, I threw him back. I would too. That peanut. He wasn't up to my standards. All right. We're back on our one of our favorite spots. Couldn't get the live well to run because I'm a big dummy and turned the wrong switch on. No disputes. And the, the peanut gallery back there. Put any worms in the box? There's two boxes in there and your big old maggot mealworms of yours. There's a fish right there. You can have to get out of my spot. And he ain't quite up to standards either. He ain't bad, but... He don't want to stay in the book with us. Pretty bluegill. Go in back, Greg's. <laughs> well, I was accused of turning the camera off when he was catching fish. And, uh... He just caught and released one. About time I got the camera on. Yeah. I are you going to catch anything or are you going to keep on doing that today? See how that goes. Okay. <laughs> works out good for you. Hey. Never mind. It's family friendly. <laughs> there he goes. That's a peewee. Let me take care of some business and I'll teach you how to catch you fish. Watch? Never mind, Pee Wee Herman. <laughs> Finally, we got a little action going here. We had to abandon our spot. If I can get him. Do you need help? I think I got it handled. Nice little bluegill. He will stink up the grease. Let's see. We about to get in the tree over here. That's the first fish we caught in a while. Over an hour. All right. Maybe that's a good sign. One more, and I'll have supper. That's I don't know what. I don't know what. I don't know what he's gonna eat. That's right. I don't eat fish. Right. That's right. You don't eat fish. <laughs> Not with you around us. All right, y'all. Shell cracker. Right there on the sands. Right there on the sand by the grass. Right where he's supposed to be. They, uh, they're not on bed. But his tail tore up. Markings right there where he's been fanning. He'll eat. He ain't gonna fan nothing else. We're to the point where we ain't throwing nothing back. Unless we get on our big ones again. Is that not a gorgeous house right there? What you buy that for, Stump? It's not for sale. You got that fancy lawnmower. It's you can you can keep the grass cut. It's not for sale. Common keep, sense to tell anybody. Keep the that. grass cut, I'll take care of the dock and everything. <laughs> fish and I put it on told him where it was at and he caught him oh he's gonna claim biggest fish of the day again hey son. Hey son. get him in the boat another shell cracker yes, closer we get to this little basin hmm Oh boy, I'm about to crash into this dock. Let me. Let me get my... I'm come back by here in a little bit. Got him on shark hook. Everybody gets lucky every now and again. 
Now the wind's gonna come up. There's some more grass over here. Yeah, the wind's got me so. You still fishing shallow? Yeah, I ain't very deep at all, see. That's about what I got mine now. Dive, dive, dive. Yeah, I've seen that one recent, fairly recently. Yeah. That's a big old shell cracker right there. Yep, that's a good one. That's what, two out of that spot? Y'all hang on. We're gonna. Get us out a little bit. We're going to anchor. And we're going to power pole around. You put the power pole in? Yep. Hang on. Live action. Red belly. There he is right there. That's a respectable fish. All right, live bell boy. <laughs> I got oh, to hurt. Uh, 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 uh. Let me get my hands out of the way. Go. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're having a good time. I'm having to to pick up my game here. He's just about to to beat me. A clip for right now. A clip for right now. I'm going to get that. I lost him. No, I didn't get it. That was a good fish too. They're biting real, real funny. Try it again. I got him that time. That's a good one. That is a good one. That's the one that got off mine. Now let's talk about the biggest fish of the day. Might still be. He'll eat that one. That's a fine shell cracker right there. There's no doubt about it, but mine will eat that one. I gotta do it. Josh. <laughs> He's gonna come down here and whoop me one of these days, ain't he? Josh. All right, and here we go after another hour. Back to our favorite spot. That Little bluegill. Be back in the spot that he had him last uh, last week in there. What are you fussing about back there? No. 
Nothing, all is well. Nice little bluegill. He ain't bad. This makes, I think, about, what, 10 maybe? About 12. Maybe 12. You've got three and I've got the rest. But, uh, it's up in the middle of the day. The tide was coming in hard. Now it's going out. So, uh, the sun is beating down. Yep, and it's hot. I got a set of new umbrellas. Let me get this out of my way. Sun umbrellas. But my pipe's not long enough to support them. That's what they look like. We'll see them again when I get them set up right. But uh, it's not an action-packed day so far. All right, y'all. It's hot. Real hot. We're not catching any fish. Real we hot. are real hot. We are life preservered up. They're blue. His is blue. Mine's blue because he ordered it for me. That's why it's blue. Mine's purple. His is blue. Anyway, we'll, we'll turn that way. I'll give our spot away. Mm -mm. Well, y'all can come to our spot today. They're not biting. Yeah. So, but we, we managed to get a fair little mess of fish. And I'll lay them out for you when we get to the house sometime this afternoon. See, his is personalized. It's got his name on it. No. Yeah, we gotta get it's his. It's his name. That's your name. It says jerk. His name. Somehow he engraved it on mine. All right, question: Would y'all wear a blue fishing shirt like that? Beautiful. Mercy. All right, we're going. Thank y'all for watching. All right, there's the catch. Not spectacular. But that is a fine supper right there. Now a couple of big shell crackers. Uh, I think I caught the biggest one. Stump caught that one. Stump caught that one for sure. <laughs> a few bluegills, one red belly. Overall, not bad for muddy water after a big rain and no crickets but uh we'll see about that here shortly now got to get these cleaned up and get them in the house and i think i'm gonna cook all these at one time because i can eat almost all those thank you all for watching thank you for your support and we will see y'all on the next fishing expedition one more clip. Somebody asked me how the worm bed was doing. It is doing excellent. Now I fed them up real good yesterday with some laying uh, crumbles. And I was uh, fortunate enough to get a bucket of squash yesterday. And mama cooked some cabbage with the squash. And there's the trimmings. So we're going to put that in there. Let's see. And I wet it down earlier today. Now where they at? I disturbed them yesterday, so they probably moved around. There we go. There you go, right there. That's what I'm trying to grow, right there. They're in there. Spread that out like this. Now I'm trying to keep wigglers in the front end and red worms in the back end. So, uh, I 
cover it back up like that. See if I can find another one right quick. That's a red worm right there. That yellow tail on him. They're gonna do fine, they're gonna grow. It's gonna take a little while. But a few months and we will have all the fish bait we need. The end. <laughs>